Hi everyone, this is Dana with Deep Thoughts with Dana, and welcome to the show. As usual, on every Tuesday, I bring to you a weekly psychic forecast created by a tarot card reading for the collective energy of your zodiac sign as to what some of you can expect to transpire in your life for the next seven days. However, before we get into the weekly forecast, I'd like to chat for a minute about some esoteric philosophies that may or may not be familiar to you. If you're not into the metaphysical and or the esoteric, then this very well may be a new and captivating subject matter for you. I know it thoroughly fascinates me. The subject matter for today is intuition. The definition of intuition is the ability to understand something immediately without the need for conscious reasoning. Now, we all have intuition, but most of us second guess it or don't follow it at all. You see, we are all taught from birth to make decisions from our cerebral intellect. We are taught to use reasoning and logic in our decision-making process. Yet it's undeniable that each and every one of us has those gut feelings, those red flags, the innate knowing of what's going on, or, you know, an, an, a known determination about the decisions that we need to make in a situation. But most of us ignore it, second-guessing ourselves, and continue to make life decisions based on logic reasoning using only your cerebral intellect. I'm here to tell you that if you want to elevate your spirituality and your level of consciousness, you need to get in touch with your intuition. No matter what belief system it is that you come from, your intuition is your source. Whatever that is for you, even if it's your own higher self, your intuition is your source trying to guide you in the right direction in order for you to do what needs to be done to learn what needs to be learned, and to be directed and guided down the path of the mission that you're supposed to fulfill in this lifetime, to reach your highest spiritual attainment. Getting in touch and following your intuition is of the utmost importance. You see, one of the objectives of this human experience that we all share is to combine the cerebral intellect with the intuitive knowledge that is within all of us to create a decision-making powerhouse by which we can ascend to a more powerful spiritual level. As a psychic, as a tarot card reader, I have come to an understanding and acceptance, and I trust my intuition, and it is my most valuable tool when it comes to helping you through life decisions via a tarot card reading. You see, oftentimes a tarot card reading simply helps you to confirm and understand your own intuition. A tarot card reading helps you to sort out the pieces of the situation and bring it to full circle, and it's usually, intuitively, what you already know. It's almost like reading Braille. If you can't see to read the instructions in the life manual, and you don't know how to read Braille, in this case your intuition, but I do, then I can tell you what's going on via simple interpretation and read your intu intuition back to you through the cards. It's a very simple concept, and if you don't have the vision to see clearly what's unfolding in your life, I can channel your energy into the cards and we can get to the bottom of the issue in your situation. Situation, not only confirming your own intuition about the subject matter by sewing the story together so you can see from a perspective that may not be apparent to you at the moment, or simply clouded by emotion. Of course, tarot card readings are much more than just the confirmation of your own intuition. It has elements of spirituality, logic, reasoning, intuition, and foresight. A tarot card reading is a mix of logic and reasoning, spirituality and psychic ability. It is clean and clear with no preconceived notions, no discrimination, and no judgment that will allow a mirror of your life to be displayed in the cards so we can work through each and every emotional, physical, and intellectual process represented by each of the cards. It's almost like talking with a therapist, a therapist that has inside knowledge into the spiritual realm and a gifting to allow communication between you and your source in a concrete, tangible way. If you would like a personal tarot card reading with me, you can reach me at deepthoughtswithdana.com. If you are a subscriber to this YouTube channel, you can click the link on the box below and get 50% off of a tarot card reading just by subscribing to my channel. Now let's get straight into your weekly psychic forecast derived from a short collective tarot card reading specific to your zodiac sign. 
Okay, this is the weekly psychic forecast for each zodiac sign in order from the youngest to the oldest beginning with Aries and ending with Pisces. This is a general forecast for the collective of each zodiac sign. Remember, don't ever make a life-changing decision from a general forecast or a general tarot card reading. If this resonates with you and you need more information about your situation, you can again reach out to me at deepthoughtswithdana.com or click the link in the box below if you are a subscriber to this channel. All right, Aries, March 21st through April 20th. Aries, this week there will be an end to some kind of an attachment that is either toxic or somehow restricting to your personal growth. This attachment is in the realm of a relationship that is very important in your life. You're going to take some inspired action to manifest a brand new beginning in this situation. You'll find yourself being in a state of contemplation as to how, how it is you're going to break free from the mental challenges associated with this attachment in order to have a new beginning and a new journey in your life. You'll experience some despair or anxiety while you're trying to maintain control of the situation until you can execute a cycle closure, closing out one chapter of your life and preparing to write a new chapter of your life. After surveying the landscape, you come to the conclusion that for your ultimate happiness, you need to end something to begin something that will allow you to plan for your future. Taurus April 21st through May 21st. Taurus, you enter into this week contemplating a lack of teamwork or collaboration. You are contemplating taking action that moves you away from the situation, but you have a lot of indecision and conflict. This seems to revolve around an aspect of your personal security. You're contemplating a disconnection from the situation because you're very determined to explore other opportunities. Temperance is advised in this situation. Don't be reckless about executing in this situation. Balance, patience, purpose, and moderation will result in ultimate success. By the end of the week, you'll have some absolute mental clarity and some personal truth as to how you're going to disconnect yourself from this situation. This truth, this mental clarity, will allow you to break the current cycle, and it creates a turning point in your life. Gemini, May 22nd to June 21st. Gemini, you enter into this week with justice, truth, fairness, cause and effect, and universal law in regards to manifesting a new beginning with someone or something from your past. As the week progresses, you will make a regretful but necessary transition out of some form of commitment. This regrettable but necessary transition will bring balance and prioritization into your life. After much reflection and assessment, assessment of the situation, these cards suggest that you will ultimately decide to walk away and move on. This brings in a sense of victory, progress, and self-confidence, and a renewed sense of enthusiasm. As the week comes to an end, you'll find that the struggle and the burden is over, and there's a personal accomplishment on the horizon. Cancer, June 22nd through July 22nd. Cancer, you begin the week with the need to have a new beginning and take a new journey in your life. There will be swift movement and quick action to close out the current chapter of your life and begin to write a new chapter in your life. There is an inevitable ending to your current situation, a transition and a transformation into something new. You are applying temperance to your actions because this situation is rooted in feelings about a third party situation, a third energy that is interfering in the current situation and making you feel quite self-protective. You've had a revelation and awakening that is creating sudden change in your life. By the end of the week, you begin to see things crystal clear and you know exactly what action it is that you need to take in order to secure your future. The direction that you need to go in in order to begin this new journey and this new chapter of your life. Leo, July 23rd through August 22nd. Leo, you enter into this week trying to manifest your way out of conflict, intent upon establishing harmony, peace, happiness, and values alignment in your life. You are searching your intuition and your subconscious mind about this situation, and you are determined to bring peace, order, and emotional stability. You are intent on breaking the cycle of conflict. As the week winds down, you are enthusiastic about either a message that comes into you or a message that you are giving to another about a new beginning. Virgo, 
August 23rd to September 23rd. Virgo, as you enter into this week, there's a hidden truth that's revealed to you. This hidden truth causes some setbacks and frustration in regards to your own personal success. This hidden truth directly concerns concerns um, some kind of a third party energy, a third energy that is interfering in your life. This causes a lot of confusion and indecision because this hidden truth revolves around some kind of defeat, crisis, betrayal, endings, and loss. As the week progresses, you will begin to see things crystal clear, which will create even more conflict for you, and you will execute you'll execute um, change and remove yourself from the situation. Libra. September 24th to October 23rd. Libra, you enter into this week with a burden and a struggle about reuniting or reconciling with someone or something from your past. The crux of the situation is that you are, are willing to have a new beginning and a new journey with, with someone or something from the past. There may be some toxicity attached to the situation, and as the week progresses, you'll take inspired action to bring the situation to a culmination one way or another. You will find yourself in your subconscious mind trying to access your intuition in regards to harmony and values alignment and your level of desire to move forward with your feelings. As the week ends, you will come to a final decision and there will be a culmination to this particular situation for you. Scorpio, October 24th to November 22nd. Scorpio, this week is definitely wrapped up in some kind of decision about a love relationship. You begin the week with preparation, preparing to offer your feelings to someone in a love situation. You are moving on from feelings of loss, regret, disappointment, and despair. And like I said, this revolves around a significant relationship in your life. You have assessed the situation and are, de and are deciding to put an end to the way that things were and transition into the way that things will be. You have your emotions in check and you're ready to step off into a new beginning and a new journey with teamwork, collaboration, and a huge sense of excitement. This is all about reuniting or reconciling with someone from your past. After much contemplation and reevaluation, you are now open to new perspectives and you're releasing the mental challenges that have kept you in a state of indecision. There is a revelation and an awakening that has happened in regards to the situation and you are no longer hesitant. You've come to terms with what has happened in the past regarding this relationship. By the end of the week, you're going to swiftly communicate this decision and move forward and you see clearly the direction that you need to take. Sagittarius, November 23rd to December 21st. Sagittarius, you enter the week with a certain degree of confusion, and you're trying to make a decision about what it is that makes you happy. There's some information, some truth, some mental clarity that comes in the form of an action oriented message, some kind of communication that restores your sense of victory, progress, and self-confidence. This communication, this communication that comes into you alleviates the burden and the struggle of this decision, of this decision-making process. It creates a sense of emotional balance and control. This communication that comes into you is directly related to somebody, to, to, to how somebody feels in the situation. It restores control, stability, and security because this communication that comes into you is a messenger of a new beginning. Love, hope, faith, purpose, and renewal. And promises to bring and promises to bring about harmony, happiness, and values alignment in this relationship. Capricorn, December twenty second to January twentieth. Capricorn, you open the week with fear and anxiety about the status of your future. You are showing feelings of hopelessness and or disappointment that are somehow associated with a misalignment of values or some kind of jealousy, maybe. This poses a difficult challenge and puts you into an energy of pausing and contemplating the prioritization of your feelings. This energy has you feeling a need to be very self-protective. It appears that some very serious communication is coming in about some kind of betrayal, deception, or shady behavior that requires action on your part. You are at a crossroads, lots of confusion and indecision about ending the situation and transitioning, preparing to manifest new opportunities into your life that will create victory, progress, and success for you. Aquarius, January 21st to February 19th. 
Okay, Aquarius, this is short, sweet, and super direct. You enter into this week with some kind of inspired action to create a new beginning. There's a culmination to an old cycle. It's setting you free to have a new beginning and a new journey. This is going to happen quickly with momentous forward action, and it directly affects the structure and establishment of your life. There is indication that an old cycle is ending and a new life cycle is beginning, a life cycle that's going to secure the structure, the foundation, the stability of your life. And it all has to do with engaging with the people around you. This is the completion, the integration, and accomplishment of one life cycle and the beginning of a new cycle. And it's all directly related to a message of a creative new beginning. Last but not least, Pisces, February 20th to March 20th. Pisces, your week begins with an energy of a revelation, awakening, sudden change, upheaval, and or chaos in regards to the manifestation of a brand new opportunity. This fills you with a sense of enthusiasm and allows you to begin to plan for your future with feelings of harmony, happiness, and values alignment. This manifestation of a brand new opportunity in your life is direct, directly related to a message from someone or something that is depicted as a metaphorical knight in shining armor, an answer to prayer that is a wish fulfilled. This sudden realization, this change, this upheaval in your life leaves you in an energy of pausing, processing, surrendering, and coming out on the other side with a new perspective about your priorities. There will be an exchange of information in regards to feelings and hope, faith, purpose, or renewal in this situation. As the week comes to a close, you will be contemplating and reevaluating how you feel about some sort of serious commitment in your life.